Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and here we're going to set up the Tailwind CSS in React.js. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, go ahead and install React using the create npx create react app uh, command. Okay, once we have um, React installed, let's go and uh, cd into the file folder. Uh, next step is we're going to install by npm. We want to copy and paste this command. Um, it has three different things installed in it. Um, it has the Tillman CSS. Uh, the post CSS 7, I'm not sure what that is, but post, uh, post CSS, um, and then uh, it has the auto prefixer, so we have to install these things. So let's copy and paste this into the command line. And wait for that to install. Great, now that that's installed, let's install uh, create code. We need this instead of um, M, uh, we need this instead of normal npm because we have to do something with the post CSS, uh, something with the CSS live update or not working in normal React JS. Um, we have to install this for it to work in Tailwind CSS. So let's do that. Once that's installed, we have to go to package.json and we have to delete these three lines. And we have to paste these two lines here. Like so. And then we have to create a creco.config.js uh, file on the root of the project. So let's do that. So here I'm going to go and create a new uh, file, like so. And we're going to copy and paste this inside there. Uh, next, we want to create the tailwind config.js file by using this npx command. So let's do that. And in this config file, we want to um, we want to add this portion in at the top. So at the purge section, let's add that in right there. And then we have to go to the source.index.css uh, file. So let's go to source index.css and copy and paste this at the very top. This will import the necessary modules. And then make sure that index.css is uh, source.index.css. Let's see, um, index. source.index.js. This file is including the f uh, file we just cr uh, created. So we have index.css imported right there. And then uh, and Tailwind CSS is all finished installing. So let's um, test it out. And can run start. And let's go over to app.js and we're going to just delete that in a second. So let's go here and delete this. And here let's uh, create a div with order two with the h1 tag just saying hello world. So we have the border that's um, right there. We have a gray border of two pixels and then we can add in 
border black to make it black. Then we can do border dashed to make it dashed. And then we can also add a background of background blue 500. That will give a blue background. So that's how you install Tailwind CSS in a React.js app. And if you have other um, uh, frameworks that you're installing Tailwind CSS in, um, you can go over here and you can find it out on how to install it. So that was for React. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.